SpaceX is breaking the launch records again. SpaceX has changed the way rockets are launched into space. In the past, rockets could only be used once. This made space travel very expensive and slow. But SpaceX came in with a different idea. They designed rockets that can be used again, which saves both time and money. The Falcon rocket family is the best example of this. Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy keep beating their own records every year. Falcon 9 flew 60 times in 2022, 96 times in 2023, and reached 134 launches in 2024, breaking records each year and far surpassing the old 1979 mark. By July 2025, SpaceX had already launched 89 Falcon rockets that year, all without failure. These numbers are huge. In 2024, more than half of all the rockets launched worldwide came from SpaceX. In the United States, 95% of launches were by SpaceX. The company now aims for 170 to 180 launches in 2025. The speed of their launches is also amazing. Once, SpaceX launched two rockets just one hour and five minutes apart. They launched again from the same site, Space Launch Complex 40, just two days later. One Falcon 9 booster even flew again just nine days after its last flight. Falcon 9 rockets have become very reliable. They now succeed 99.42% of the time. The current version, Falcon 9 Block 5, has flown 450 times with only one failure. That gives it a 99.78% success rate. Falcon Heavy has flown 11 times since 2018, and all were successful. This success comes from smart design. Instead of throwing away rockets after each launch, SpaceX reuses them. Falcon 9 is the first rocket of its kind to be reusable. The most expensive part, the first stage, is now recovered and flown again. By mid-2025, SpaceX had landed rocket boosters 477 times out of 490 tries. The Block 5 version has an even better rate, 98.7%. One booster, called B-1067, has flown 29 times. Another, B-1062, flew for the 20th time in 2024. In total, first-stage boosters have flown again 448 times. Reusing rockets is now normal for SpaceX. In 2024, over 95% of launches used a booster that had already flown. In 2025, the number is still more than 95%. The company also reuses the rocket's nose cone, which is called the payload fairing. One fairing was reused 31 times. In 2025, 96% of flights used reused fairings. This saves a lot of money. Flying a booster many times can cut costs by up to 70%. For example, reusing a Falcon 9 booster 10 times can save over $46 million. This makes launches cheaper for customers and lets SpaceX fly more often. They now lead more than 60% of the global commercial launch market. SpaceX also builds almost everything in-house. They make their own engines, parts, and software. This means they don't have to wait for other companies. It helps them move quickly, solve problems fast, and reduce costs. One part made by SpaceX engineers was 10 times cheaper than buying it from outside. They also learn fast. When something goes wrong, they fix it and try again. This is called the fail fast, learn fast method. You can see this clearly in their new rocket, Starship. SpaceX has four launch sites, one in California, one in Texas, and two in Florida. Each site has a purpose. One supports missions for the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. Another supports national security launches. They are also building a large factory in Florida called Gigabay to help build and launch more Starship rockets. They have added new ways to launch more efficiently. One is called hot stage separation, which means the second stage engine starts firing before the first stage is fully turned off. This method avoids a gap in thrust, making the flight smoother, reducing mission time and possibly increasing how much the rocket can carry. This means the second stage engine starts before the first stage is done. This saves time and may allow the rocket to carry more. Starship is the next big step. It is a much larger rocket meant to carry more cargo and people. It is fully reusable too. By May 2025, Starship had flown nine times. Four of those flights were successful and five were not. 
Each test teaches the engineers something new. They are testing new things like hot stage separation and booster reuse. A new engine called Raptor 3 is being developed to make the rocket more reliable. Still, Starship has had problems. In 2025, four upper stages failed. One test ended in a fire. Another Starship was lost in a ground test. The main issues are engines that do not restart and doors that do not open properly. But SpaceX keeps improving. They are adding better insulation and fixing fuel systems. They plan up to 25 Starship flights per year. Starship is also part of a National Aeronautics and Space Administration mission to send astronauts to the moon. Later, it could take people to Mars. The goal for Starship is to make space travel so cheap and fast that flights can happen daily. If successful, Starship could carry 100 people or very large amounts of cargo at once. Many Starship flights are for Starlink, SpaceX's satellite internet system. Starlink needs many satellites, which means more rocket launches. In 2024, about two-thirds of all SpaceX launches were for Starlink. In early 2025, nearly half of the launches, specifically 48 out of 96, were also for Starlink. Starlink gives SpaceX steady work. This helps engineers test rockets often, make improvements, and earn money. SpaceX wants Starlink to bring in $300 billion a year by 2035. But launching often comes with problems. Rocket fuel can harm the atmosphere. It can make the ozone layer weaker. Some studies say rocket pollution could be 10 times worse by 2025. There are also legal limits. The government controls how many rockets can be launched. SpaceX asked to go from 5 to 25 Starship launches per year. More than 11,000 people protested. Noise, danger, and pollution from rockets worry many local people. The Federal Aviation Administration once fined SpaceX over $600,000 for not following rules. Another issue is checking for damage after flight. Ceramic tiles show cracks clearly. Metal tiles are stronger but harder to inspect. If one metal tile fails, it could damage other parts of the rocket. SpaceX is still testing these tiles. The company also faces delays and supply problems. Each Starship test costs $50 to $100 million. They have already lost more than $1 billion in failed tests. Some investors are now worried about the cost and slow progress. Even so, SpaceX is way ahead of everyone else. In 2024, they completed 138 out of 145 launches from the United States. In just three months of 2025, Falcon 9 launched 45 times and carried 90% of the total world payload to space. Most of the space industry now depends on SpaceX. Other companies like United Launch Alliance and Ariane Space are struggling. Europe only launched three rockets in 2024. China launched 68. Older rockets are being retired and newer ones are not ready yet. SpaceX is filling that gap. Thanks to low costs and fast launches, SpaceX is now the top space company in the world. As they continue to break launch records, they are not just changing the pace of space missions, but laying the foundation for a future where space travel is regular, reliable, and more accessible than ever before. Many governments and private companies rely on them. The future of space travel may depend on how well SpaceX can improve Starship and manage the challenges of growing so fast.